Hi guys, it's Jay from J and D's Retirement Journey. Just wanted to say thanks for watching and please hit that subscribe button and that like button. Thanks so much. Is Bank of America a buy? Many analysts believe it is. It's a great time to get into the banking sector after this uh this downturn caused by uh, Silicon Valley Bank and a few other banks that went belly up. Dick Bove, uh, who's a banking analyst for many years, believes the uh, problem is over and the banks uh, are stable. He had an article in Yahoo Finance, um, so you guys check that out. Now we're looking at Bank of America. Closed at 28.97, that's at uh, 3.16.2023. I'm here in the morning on the 17th and it's down about 40 cents in the pre-market. The whole market's down again. Market's been very volatile up and down the last few days. <clears throat> it has a 52 week range of 27.68, which is the low one. I, it hit it this week with all this craziness going on in the banks. And it's been up to almost 45. Hey guys, uh, before you invest in any type of security, do your research, talk with your financial planner. What's right for me and my wife may not be right for you guys. Let's take a quick look at the chart for Bank of America, a uh, one month chart here. They're down big, $6.37, 18%. As you go year to date, they're down $4.54, 14%. And you look at the five day chart, looks like the stock is stabilizing now. It's uh, only down 20 cents. Uh, so do your research, might be a good time to get in. Uh, talk with your financial planner. Let's take a quick look at the uh, fundamentals. All this information is right off the Charles Schwab website. Um, any financial website, you can get any type of information on any security. Uh, the net profit margin, Bank of America is 29%. Return on equity, 10.61. Sales per share, 11.62. Long-term debt to equity, 95. And the three-year growth forecast is 3%. And you can compare it to Wells Fargo and a few other banks they got here in the comparison. So it'll give you an idea how the bank is doing compared to its peers. The historical earnings, uh, the last four quarters, they beat three out of four. The last quarter, uh, fourth quarter of 2022, they beat by eight cents. The uh, revenue for the year was... Uh, 72 billion earnings price earnings 9.1 the forward PE is 8.46 quick look at the valuation per Schwab I guess the PE is 9.1 the price to sales 2.44 the uh, dividend yield 3.09 which is great it's been going up not the way we want it to go up but uh it's been going up due to the uh, tanking of the stock. The price to tangible book, 1.15, and the uh, five-year projected growth, little less than 3%. Again, you can compare it to all its peers. My favorite part of investing, the dividends here. The uh, next dividend payment of 22 cents, we're gonna get it in a few weeks at the end of March on the 31st, if you were in when X March 2nd, the annual dividend rate is 88 cents. And again, since the stock's been tanking, the uh, yield has gone up uh, a few uh, percentages here, and it's up to 3.09, over 3%. They usually raise their dividend a few pennies right after the stress test. So you're looking at June, July, you usually get an announcement once they pass the stress test, they raise it. And uh, I think the coverage is only like 27%, if I remember correctly. It's in somewhere in the mid-20s, the payout ratio. So they have room to increase the dividend, which is great. In this comparison, you could uh, compare how Bank of America is doing against their peers uh, in regards to the dividends. Um, you could see the dividend payout ratio is kind of the lowest out of the group, which is great. They got room to increase. 
uh, and you could see they've been increasing their dividend uh, 71 cents an average for five years. They're a little low compared to the to everyone else, so they got room to, to go up. And the percentage is still low to the dividend yield average is only 2% compared to everyone else. So they're going to increase their dividend once uh, they get uh, approved. I'm pretty, pretty confident in that. That's what they've been doing in the past. Let's take a look and see what the analysts believe here. Bank of America, you got two underperforms, 10 holes, 13 outperforms, and two buys. S&P Global has a 12-month target of 43. Argus has a target of 49. And where the stock is right now, that's almost a double on both ends. So that'll be great. One is on close to 50%, one would be a double. And you could see what the peers, uh, the analysts are thinking on the peers as you go across the chart. Again, do your research. Talk with your financial planner. I am not a financial planner before you invest in any security. And I hold uh, a few shares of Bank of America. You know, I got in about at 14. I'm still making money even though we've been killed the last uh, few months. But uh, I'm confident I'm a long-term investor. I'm in for the dividend, and I don't plan on selling it anytime soon. So with, with time, I know this will go right back up. So good luck, everyone, and have a great day. Please hit that subscribe button and that like button. Thanks so much for listening.